Hey everybody, happy Friday. I'm back. It's time for our first Facebook Friday of the new catalog. I'm very excited about it. Um, Little Monkey is what we're using today and I don't have it sitting here. I would hold it up. Oh yeah, here it is. It is one of the ones that we got in our pre-orders. Demonstrators were able to order um, some things early and so it was one of the ones we got and I love it. You guys know it's my favorite kind of a stamp set where we can color it with our stamp and blends so that's what we're using today and of course i found a banana flavored treat i found several banana flavored treats but we're only using one of them I'm trying to open my ipad here let's see if i can get it open hello everybody hello hello it's so good to see you guys jumping on um i was gonna grab something and now i don't remember what it was <laughs> i don't know it left my brain Things leave. I'm sure it happens to you guys too. Okay, so I am back and let's see, let me make sure I can see your comments. Um, I don't have a whole lot to tell you. Well, oh, I know what I was gonna grab. I was gonna grab the new catalog. Do I even have it sitting here? Oh, it's over here. I'm gonna grab the new catalog. It's so pretty. Have you guys gone through it yet? There's lots of fun things in here. Um, if you got my email this week, I let you know that next week I will be using the So Refreshing bundle. That's the little lemonade set. Um, I just looked it up. I think it's on page 30. Nope, 29. And then the week after that, I will be on my way to Norway with Stampin' Up. And then the following Friday, I'll still be in Norway. <laughs> and then the following Friday, I think we're going to use the um, carousel set, the one with the little, um, carousel, merry-go-round thing. And then after that, things are going to be a little dicey because we move. Um, so I'm going to take probably four or five weeks off you guys. It's going to, well, maybe three or four. I don't know. I just don't know how I'm going to do it, to be honest with you. Um, so that's what's coming. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to manage it, but we'll see. I have some things planned for while I'm gone. Um, so hopefully you guys um, will still have some inspiration and some ordering incentives. But in the meantime, we're going to spend the next couple of weeks looking at new stuff. Um, I have a few cards that I got in the mail that I want to show you over the last few weeks. I love when you guys send me Taco Fiesta cards. And today is um Seiko de Mayo perfect time to use your taco fiesta stamp set here's a cute one that has a wobble on it this is from Nicole and she sent me look at these cute little socks they have a little taco look she made I mean a uh, cactus and she made me a uh, cute little tag it goes in there congrats on this achievement it says funny story my husband was out um he has a it's not really property. There's a house in his family out in the country where he goes and hunts some. And he was out there this morning and he sent me a picture of this giant cactus um, with all the blooms on it. I'm a little bit obsessed with cactus right now. And we've been reading how you can just cut off a paddle of one of the cactus and you set it down in the dirt and it just does its thing. The little roots will come out and it'll grow. So he <laughs> chopped off a paddle of that cactus and we're going to put it in a pot and see i want some cactus in my front yard in my new house i know those of you up north that probably sounds really weird but down here right now all the prickly pear cactus are starting to bloom and it's just beautiful so anyways that reminded me of that i love these thank you very much um nicole they're really cute and i love the card um i got another one this is from marcy and it's beautiful um it's a fun fold See how it goes like that. I've never made one of these cards. Maybe we need to make one of these. Um, look how she colored the pinata. She's got like, um, that's probably petal pink, kind of like a shadow in there. And it really makes it jump out. It's got a lot of dimension in it. So I really like that. I like when you guys send me things that give me new ideas. Very, very cute. Thank you, Marcy. I'm keeping all the Taco Fiesta cards in a special box forever and ever. This is from Samantha. She sent me a thank you card with a little um, sweet citrus bundle. Man, I love this bundle so much. Um, and I really like it in this color. That, I believe, is polished pink that has now left us. Hopefully, polished pink will come back someday. And then, this is a really cute um, 
this is a really cool package. Vicky sent me this, I believe. Yeah, it's Vicky. Um, first of all, her card is super cute. Um, she used the designer series paper as the card base, and it unfolds like that. See that? Boop, boop, boop. We need to make that too. That's really cool. And she said she um, she was thanking me for something I sent her, and then she said she is sending me something that she thought I might like. She uses them to mask and to do masking. They are clear post-it notes. Look, clear post-it notes. You can see through them. I have never seen these before. Um, she, when I pulled them out, I had checked the mail. My kids were in the kitchen, whatever. My husband was in there and I was like, oh my God, look how cool these are. They're clear post-its. And both my girls were like, we use those at school all the time. What's the big deal? <laughs> I'm like, I've never seen these. Apparently they use them at school for something. Um, in English, I guess, writing notes, whatever. But anyway, so cool. I don't know where she got them. We'll have to look on Amazon. Maybe if she's on here, she'll tell us where she got them. But they came in a box like this. They're fancy, transparent sticky notes. So I guess they're not actually post-it. Um, please use ballpoint pen, marker pen, or pencil writing will be better. Oh, marker pen or pencil writing will be better. Transparent bur burkula. Very cool. Thanks, Vicki. That was a really cool tool that I have never seen, and I will be trying them. Oh, somebody says Office Depot. Okay, cool. Thank you very, very much. All right, Club Create for May. The deadline is Sunday. I took registration down from my blog because it was full. Um, if you want to get in on May, I may have one or two spots. You'll have to email me because um, I have to keep it at a certain level. Um, but Sunday's the cutoff for this. The PDF and video for this will be available forever in my PDF store. Um, so if you want just the PDF, this is the Crafting With You uh, bundle from the new catalog and it's so cute look at a little paper trimmer i mean hello so cute um so that club create that's for may i'll be working on those this next week getting them out early hopefully patricia says she just looked on amazon and they have them too awesome um next month's club create starting monday if you subscribe uh starting monday will be the zany zoo such a cute set we're going with pinks and purples and yellows for this set. Um, this um, in a little box, little turtle treat inside. Um, Club Create is $39 a month, it's a subscription. I will be doing Club Create in June. That's really the only thing I'm promising in June. I'm not skipping Club Create. Um, I'm moving around the 20th of June. Uh, so things are way up in the air. You know, there could be delays. I don't know. Um, I obviously have to pack this place up at least, you know, the week before. So, um, but Club Create people, don't worry. You will get your June Club Create and July Club Create too. I've put things in place to make sure that we get all of those out on time. Um, but I won't be doing any classes in June, maybe not in July either. So we'll see. I have to get settled over there and figure everything out. Um, but Club Create... Zany Zoo, June, okay? Video and um, PDF for this will be available in my PDF store probably on Monday. Um, I have a couple extra paper pumpkins if anybody missed out on their paper pumpkins. Um, sometimes, you know, you your credit card doesn't go through for whatever reason, it happens to all of us, and then you miss out and it's really sad. So if that's you and you missed out, I have a couple extra. I'm not gonna get a whole lot of extras this month or next month, obviously, because of the move. So if you want to subscribe, I'm gonna open this one. If you wanna, if you wanna guarantee that you get your the June, right? No, the May paper pumpkin, then you need to subscribe yourself. Um, there's a link on today's PDF at pinkbuckaroo.com. Um, you can subscribe and you can cancel. I mean, if you just want one month, you can subscribe and then you can cancel. So um, next month's kit looks to be a really popular one. It's going to be a masculine set. Oh, masculine-ish. Um, it'll have all the new in colors. So, um, and there's also some um, card bases and envelopes. Are those still available? Do you guys know? I haven't checked. Um, that if you're a subscriber, you can add on. You can purchase, I believe. You can get those now. But this kit is the April kit. 
the little things. What's it called? All the little things. And then the other one was the March kit, 10 years of growth. Okay. I'm still available today, Carl. Okay, good. Yeah, they're available until they sell out, which you never know when that's going to be. So if you want them, get them. You can find them by clicking on on the paper pumpkin you know if you go to the store the regular stampin up store over on the left side there's like some lines you click it or it says menu or something and then there's categories there will be kits paper pumpkin over in that area you'll find those card bases for this current this coming kit that comes out in may the the deadline to subscribe for that is the 10th right guys <laughs> all right new all-star tutorial bundle i haven't sent this out yet um, if you've ordered already this month, I haven't mailed these out yet. I will send them out sometime in the next few days. You get this PDF for free when you order $50 or more from me in the online store. There are 12 video tutorials in here, and this is one of the best ones we've ever had, I have to say. Countryside Corner. Um, because the, the Countryside Corner itself doesn't have any sentiments, we have added in some other stamps and stuff. Mine actually uses the daisies this month. Mine's a box. I use the countryside uh, shape thing, the, the die, to make a box. So if you want that, if you're not going to shop with me, that's okay. It's available in my PDF store also for $15. There's a tab at the top of my blog that says shop. And under that drop-down menu, there is a there is a tab that says PDF store. Um, the only way you could pay for the PDFs right now in my PDF store is PayPal. We had some issues with the credit card processor. I had to get rid of them because some things happened. Um, so if you can't pay, if you don't use P, if you don't use PayPal and you want a PDF, you have to email me, and I can bill you differently um, than PayPal. Um, but right now, the automatic process through my PDF store is only PayPal. There's some major issues with that, but. I think we got it all worked out. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't want to talk about it. Um, all right. Let's um, flip the camera around. Let me see. I feel like I forgot something. Oh, um, class, extra class kits. I still have a box. You guys can't see it. I still have a box down here of past class kits. Um, you know what? Let's, let me turn you around and I'll show you on my, um, on my blog where you can buy old class kits for club create kits. When I was cleaning, packing last weekend, we were pulling down all of my stuff from the top shelf in the garage and I found a box full of class kits that I didn't know I had. So I'm like, oh, I thought I had done a good job of finding them homes and then I found a whole nother box. So um, if you click shop and you click past class kits right here, You'll see the ones that are still available. Cactus Cuties. Somebody had asked me for one of those a couple months ago, and I said I didn't have any more left. Ugh, I found a box, and I had some left. So if that was you, check them out. Um, I have one of the flowering cactus classes. Um, there's several things in here. You could push the number two. It goes to another page. I've got a handful of the What's Cooking class kits and the Whimsy and Wonder club kits, which included that ribbon and the DSP that everybody wanted that sold out. That was a couple of years ago. Has some of that in. I think I only have one or two of those left. So if you're looking for some kits um, to do, they don't include any stamped images, you guys. You have to either have the stamps and dies or you use what you have to sub to substitute those, okay? But it does come with some retired product in it like paper and ribbon and stuff and the PDF. Okay, so I'm not seeing comments. Okay, there you guys are. Um, prizes. Let's do prizes. La two weeks ago, I chose a winner for this week, and it's Lisa Carter. Lisa, congratulations. I have your mailing address. And Lisa, I have an extra kit of this. I'm going to send it with you with your bundle. And then, guess what? This week's prize is share a milkshake. And I'm going to throw in... The Club Create kit that I have left over that goes with this, share a milkshake. So whoever wins this week's prize is going to get both the bundle, <coughs> excuse me, and the class kit. All right, so to win, all you have to do is share the video either on Facebook or YouTube, write in the comments that you shared, let me know, um, and then next week I'll just pick somebody at random. Okay, 
I think we have gotten to the bottom of the pile. Let me grab my tape. Do I have tape somewhere? Hold on. Well, I guess we'll just use painter's tape. I don't know where my other tape is. Um, if you have never joined me for Facebook Friday, welcome. We're glad you're here. I always pick a product and then we make like three projects with it. About three. This week we're doing three. We always do three, but I usually have maybe one bonus one before and after, but this week I've got three and then one on Monday for you. Um, but if you like these projects and you would like to get them for free, I give them for free with orders, online orders between now, well, actually between last Monday and this Monday. Everybody who used the host code between last Monday and this coming Monday and your order is over $35, I will send you this week's make and takes for free. They look like this. They come with whatever you need, except for the stamped images. I don't send stamped images. I may send you a thank you tag um, with your kit. Um, for this week, you will need the little monkey and the punch. And then I'm also using, for one of the projects, I'm also using um, Warm Welcome, the sentiment, and this image right here, these two images. So obviously you'll need those or sub, you know, whatever you have to make your projects. And I, the, there's a firm cut off of that Monday at midnight. And then Tuesday morning, I get up, I cut them, pack them and ship them on Wednesday. Okay, we are ready to go. Oh, Lisa, there you are. Congratulations, Lisa, you're the winner. Um, oh, you made your milkshake kit this week, Ashley. Good, I'm glad. I love that bundle too. It's one of my favorites. I'm glad it um, carried over. Carrie says, you're going to be in your new home before you know it. You're going to love it. I hope so. This week, you know, we, it's only 10 minutes from here. So we go out there every day to see <laughs> what, you know, what's going on. And this week, the only thing that's been done is our doors, our front door was installed. And that's it. Nothing else. And so, you know, when when they don't get anything done for a whole week, it's frustrating and it feels like, you know, like, is this going to happen? Is it going to get done by the time they say it is? They've been very good about staying on, um, on schedule. Their communication is great. Um, but this week it just felt like uh, my countertops were supposed to be delivered this week and they weren't. So that was a little disappointing because, you know, countertops kind of a big deal, but It'll, it'll all get here before we know it. I know, I know. It's hard. It's hard being patient. All right. So let's make our first monkey card. Did you guys, have you ordered this? Do you like it? Um, I've seen a couple of people say they didn't like this bundle. And I was like, what? <laughs> Why wouldn't you like this? But hey, everybody's got their own taste. One of them being one of my very best friends. She doesn't like it. Um, I'm not going to say her name, but she doesn't like it. That's fine. She has, she, she can be wrong. It's okay. <laughs> no, I think it's cute. You guys know I love when it's just the black line images and we can color with stamp and blend. So, um, we're the, it has the punch, um, but the punch only punches out one of them. So the rest of it, you know what's coming, don't you? <laughs> Get your paper snips ready because we're going to fussy cut. Why do they do that, guys? Why do they give us the dies if there's going to be that many images? I mean, we like a punch, but when there's that many monkeys, we need the dies, right? Oh, well, they didn't ask me again. They never asked me my opinion. I don't know. All right, we're going to uh, make this. I actually made this for a swap. Um, we did a, I did a, a pre-catalog swap with other trip achievers helps to build up your um, supply of card samples. And so I'll show you uh, in that card swap, I think I got two other little monkey cards. So I'll show you those at the end. All right, let's stamp first. Um, this, I, this was the very first idea that popped in my head for this, to have the little monkey hanging in the canopy of the jungle. And I thought we could make the canopy using this basic border die that I guess is really a cloud, it's supposed to be like a cloud, but it makes a great tree canopy. 
So that's what we're gonna do. All right, the colors that I like to use for this guy, let me pull over my chair, hold on just a second. The colors that I really like to use for this guy are the new pecan pie, which has quickly become one of my favorites. Um, you know, I was really sad about soft suede leaving, but uh, pecan pie is a very nice uh, substitution for soft suede. And I don't think the markers are quite as dark as soft suede. Soft suede Stampin' Blend markers were almost too dark to use um, as a brown. So these work really well. So for my monkey, uh, I'm gonna start with light pecan pie. My mouth waters a little bit every time I say pecan pie. I'm not a huge pecan pie fan, but if you've eaten pecan pie, you know it's really, really sweet. And so it just, <laughs> it makes your mouth water a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go around, all the way around his face and his ears. I'm using the bullet end of my marker. Now, I know that the camera isn't zoomed in a whole lot. Um, I have three individual recordings over on YouTube that should have gone up. Did you guys check my blog post? It should be up. Um, there are three videos on YouTube, one for each of today's projects. So if you need a closer look to see how I color it or work, our second card has a lot of techniques. So if you need a closer look at that or you come back and you need the measurements, you can go over there and watch the um, individual recordings. It's a little faster, a little more edited than the live. Now I'm taking my dark and just kind of adding in a little bit of dark where his head overlaps. And we're gonna kind of flick that out at an angle like that. And then we'll flick that color down like that. And then we're gonna switch over. I decided to use one of our natural, I never know, I always wanna call them skin tone stamina blends and that's not what they're called. Let me look at my, my notes so on today's PDF, Stampin' Blends Light Combo Pack. This is number 800 from that pack of colors. All right. All right, so I'm gonna color the face. He's cute, he's got little eyelashes. And then I'm gonna take my petal pink and add in some cute little rosy cheeks like that. So hopefully you guys can see it. I got a little bit out of the lines right there. All right, now for the leaves, we'll use the new Lemon Lime Twist Light. And I'm gonna color one of them just all over. I'm enjoying Lemon Lime Twist for sure, been using it quite a bit. And we'll color in the stripes on our leaf to give it a two-tone look. Lemon Lime Twist is also in my Zany Zoo Club Create Kit and Berry Burst. I found that Berry Burst and Bubble Bath go really well with Blackberry Bliss. It's a really good color combination. Blackberry Bliss, Bubble Bath, Berry Burst. They all start with a B. A little bit of a tongue twister. All right, the second leaf is Granny Apple Green. Light, and then we'll go back and add some variation in the stripes. Some of the segments, we'll color them dark. And like that. All right, now grab your paper snips. Oh, Cindy, I'm sorry about that. Hi, Terry. All right, so grab your paper snips. I know, but I, you really do need to cut this out for this card, guys. <laughs> you really do. Grit your paper snips and go very slowly. Stay on the outside of the line, going slowly. So this last week, I spent time going through all of my product sorting through things that retired 
and things that stayed current. I priced all my retired product, my newly retired product, and then I packed them. Then my lovely assistant, Denise, has taken a lot of retired stuff, a lot of the older retired stuff that I have, a little bit of the new, and she's made these amazing mystery boxes. They are large, and medium flat rate boxes full of product. Some of them are used and some of, oh, some of the product is used, some of the product is new. And each box also contains a package of 10 cards and 10 envelopes. And those are gonna be, I'm gonna give you guys those for free while I'm gone on my trip at the end of the month um, as a thank you for your orders. So if you like mystery boxes, get ready because they are gonna be really good. She made a bunch, I mean, we had, I don't know if Denise is on here, we made like, she made, not me, she made like, I think maybe like 50 boxes or something. It's crazy how much stuff I have. And I'm just gonna, I'm happy to just give it to you guys as a thank you. All right, there he is. Now, the leaves are much easier. Oh, I for totally forgot to color the banana. We need to use the banana. But the funny thing is, even with all of that, I still have a lot of BOGO stuff for the BOGO sale, which will be in August. So if you have participated in my retired product BOGO sale, we're still having that. I have enough, <laughs> guys, I have enough retired product to do both mystery boxes and a BOGO sale. It's crazy, it is crazy. It's crazy what you find when you're moving and you're packing and you're organizing and you're trying to get on top of it. It's a lot, it is a lot. All right, so the banana, uh-oh, I'm gonna have to cut it. The banana will fit in our, I stamped it the wrong way. Okay, let me show you guys if you ever do this. What you can do is grab a post-it note. If you ever stamp something and it's not fitting into the punch, just grab a post-it. And you're gonna just use the post-it to get it to where it needs to go. Okay, right there. All right, now let's put our card together. <laughs> Carrie, they should have asked me. Every time, I, I'm, you know, I'm like, hey, I'm free. Give me a call, ask me my opinion, and I will tell you my opinion on the name of the stamp set because <laughs> I always have a very strong opinion about the name um, and if it should be a die or a punch. But for some reason, they're not calling me. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, this is a four by five and a fourth inch piece of boho blue. That's one of our new in colors. These are um, garden green. So you're gonna cut one for the bottom and it's about two inches. They started out about two inches. This one, you need one that's kind of skinnier and then one that's kind of fatter like that. So we'll put the fat one. Let me get my little bowl. You're gonna put the fat one up here at the top like that. And then I made 20 of no 22 of these cards, and it's funny how your memory works. I can remember exactly what I was watching as I put these together. That's what as I'm putting it together, I'm thinking about Outer Banks, because I was watching Outer Banks at the time. It's funny how your brain will bring that stuff up. You know, smells will do that. They'll take you right back to where you were for something. I'm like that with swaps and, <laughs> and TV shows. All right. Now we'll just trim that off. I made them longer so I could kind of shift them over so they wouldn't be like identical, although they are pretty close in the same kind of pattern there. And then we'll put these two 
or this one, two on the top, one on the bottom. And we'll put that right across there. So it's like he's swinging through the trees in the jungle and he's just swinging by to say hi. And just hook his tail up there like that. And then we'll get at the little banana. Do I have, do I have glue dots? Let's see, do I have, I do. I do, I do, I do. Let me pull them over here. Okay. Grab your banana. Oh gosh. <laughs> New nails. You're making it difficult. And then put that right there. Okay. Now we're going to stamp. I've cut out a stylish shape banner. The larger one from Basic White. And we're going to stamp the sentiment in pecan pie. Nope, this is the wrong one. Hmm, let me stamp that off. Let's see. Where did it go? Is it somewhere on the tray? Where did the tray go? Okay. Oh, here it is right here. Is this it? Just swinging by to say hi. Yep. Okay. And put it over on the left side like that. And then more dimensionals. And we'll put that right here. And then you want to snip that off like that. And then grab these two leaves. And I know, Clippy says, I'm still bummed that the new catalog didn't have Taco Fiesta dice. They definitely didn't ask me about that. Because they, you know what I would have told them. We need dies, please. I know. I know. All right. So now, last thing. Did we lose the banana? Where? No, I put it in his hand. Oh, I needed two bananas. Okay, hold on. I needed two bananas. Do I have any white paper over here? All right, let's do this again. Banana's easy. Stamp it in the corner. Color it with daffodil. My brush tip on my daffodil marker is dead. I need to get a new daffodil stamp and blend. Okay. There we go. You need two bananas, not one. Now, <clears throat> get your linen thread. Um, Sandra, if your computer keeps flashing, log out and log back in. Sometimes FB does that. It happens. Um, glue dots. Glue dots, glue dots, glue dots. Right there. All right. And we're going to put, oh, we're going to put that right there like that. And then take that cute little banana and... Um, have, you, have I used the new Saberite markers yet? Yes, Carla, I have. Um, I actually got all of them and uh, they are cool. The, the new end is very cool. I can't, I used it j just once and I can't remember what I did with it, what I used it for, but yes, they are really cool. All right, now let's do, you know, we've already added a ton of stamp of uh, dimensionals. So what's another layer of dimensionals? When you already need to use a non-machinable stamp, you might as well go for it. Non-machinable stamps now are like a dollar. I mean, what in the world? That is crazy. All right, there you go, you guys. Cute, huh? Just swinging by to say hi. I love him. He's so cute. He's very cute. Okay, that's our first project. Now, our second project is a technique card and it kind of as i was making it it just kept evolving and evolving and evolving i wanted to make a wobble card um remember i showed you a minute ago let me grab it 
Nicole sent me a wobble card. We've made these before and she used the real wobbles. You can buy those, but I'm gonna show you how to make them. Um, Cause you know, I would rather make the wobble than buy it. And sometimes you just wanna make a wobble card and you don't have the things. So I'll show you. All right, let me clean up my mess and get our next tray out. So this card is gonna be a wobble and I couldn't decide where I wanted my monkey to sit. What paper, I couldn't decide, I didn't, hadn't gotten my order yet. I was kind of in a, like a, ugh, I don't know what to use. So I said, let's make our own paper. And that's what we're gonna do. And you know what, I need to grab one thing over here. I think I left this off the supply list. The Shaded Spruce um, Stampin' Blend. Okay, we're gonna need some grid paper for this as well. So let me grab that. I'm gonna get a big piece of grid paper today. All right, so watercolor paper. And my paper is larger than it needs to be. Um, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down because it doesn't have to be this size. We're gonna do, um, it's five inches and then we're gonna do three and three fourths, all right? So three and three fourths by five. And then we're gonna just do kind of collage stamping with those two leaves. And we're gonna use, we're gonna use several greens. We're gonna use granny apple and garden green. We'll start with garden green. And we're gonna use the two branch stamps. You know, I don't like the way this looks. Hold on, let me see if I can, let me see if I can just zoom in just a bit. Let's see, let's see, hold on. Every time I try, oh, it worked the first time. You guys, today's our lucky day. Okay, granny, no, no, garden green. And each time you stamp, you want to kind of turn the stamp. You can also do it like this, where you turn your paper every time, but you don't want it to look like they're in a uniformed row. You want them to just all be kind of this way and that way. And you can stamp them off the edge like that too. Then, Where's the other leaf? We already used it. We're gonna do the other leaf in granny apple green. And we're just gonna kind of fill it in this, where the spaces are. It's gonna overlap, that's okay. Okay, just stamp, stamp, stamp. There's no right or wrong here. I smudged the ink with my finger, doesn't matter because we're gonna smudge all the ink here in a second. Okay, so now I'm gonna use a spritzer. And we sell these, I think they're like two for $3 or something. It's, it has water in it. And I'm just gonna spritz it. And part of my problem is that I always go overboard. I always use too much. So what I suggest is doing a little bit and setting it aside. And if it didn't spread out enough, spritz it again and set it aside. Um, because we don't have that kind of time. I have done this ahead of time. And here it is, and I don't have it cut down to the right size, so let's cut it down. And look, see right here, it probably needed some more water. So I'm gonna cut it over here on this edge. And we're gonna do three and three fourths right here like that. Okay, so right now you're just kinda like, meh just looks weird but wait we're gonna take okay first we're gonna take a blending brush and we are going to add lemon lime twist to this okay um you what's going on you guys I find if I lower the resolution one step, it stops flashing. Oh, so your computers are flashing? Yours have been doing it the whole time? I have no idea why it does that. Mine isn't doing it. I've got my iPad open, it's not doing it. That's weird. Maybe Google it. All right, lemon lime twist. We're gonna just fill in all the white spots basically. 
I think also when I am done, Facebook does something to the video, like makes it better quality. It like uploads it in a better quality. So if you watch the replay, it's a little bit better. All right, now take your Stampin' Blends. And I'm gonna take, first I'm gonna do sh Shaded Spruce Dark. Okay, and then I'm gonna do maybe Pumpkin Pie, or a uh, Pecan Pie. And then, get ready, Wild Wheat, you guys. It's the first time I've used it. Wild Wheat, I'm having a hard time getting on board. But I will tell you, I like it like this. We're gonna use it on the leaves too, and I like it. All right, so you've just kind of made it this artsy, kind of splattered, abstract background. We're gonna do one more thing to it. We're gonna emboss it. Now, watercolor paper is already, it already has a texture. It's thicker than your other paper. So I find that when you emboss, your watercolor paper, it, it's even more, I feel like it's even more dramatic, if that makes sense. Um, this is the Fern 3D embossing folder and I'm looking for my, here it is, my embossing plate. You gotta take all the plates off except for one and then put on your number four, right? Number four on top. And then let's open it. And look at it. There we go. Isn't that cool looking? I don't know. I just really like it. You can see that embossed. All right. So there, a little artsy. Getting a little artsy today. Now, I've done a little bit of work ahead of time because these projects were a lot of it, a lot involved. Here's our monkey. This is the other monkey. And I will show you. Well, I'll show you right now. When you turn... You've got these two monkeys that look very much alike. This is this one. See how his legs are going this way? The only one the punch will do is this one. And if you turn your punch around, you can see that the tail goes that way. So this guy, he has to be <coughs> fussy cut. And I colored him the exact same way as I did on the previous card. I was just trying to save a little bit of time. We're going to stamp these leaves. These are the leaves from the Tropical Leaf bundle which is this this was an online exclusive where's my punch here it is still available online and we're gonna kind of play around with this and make our leaves all look a little bit different all right so i've got garden green i've got um lemon lime twist and granny apple green and I need my grid paper again. Let me grab that. I'm also gonna use a sponge dauber that looks like this. So take your granny apple green and then get some garden green and just kind of add some color to it. So that'll be one of our leaves. You can huff on it to get it a little moist. <laughs> yeah, I said it. A little moist. All right, and then, um, oh, that's Lemon Lime Twist. Okay. Um, let's do Lemon Lime Twist, and then let's add, well, we just did that, but we'll do it again. Let's add some more. We'll add a lot this time. Okay. You're going to need four leaves all together. Ooh, I like that one. Now, let's do Granny Apple, and let's stamp off. And then add a little bit around the edges. Oops. Okay, ooh, that was pretty light. I don't know, let's stamp off and then add more granny apple green. Like that, see what that looks like. So just play around with your leaves. I think I like it best when I stamp full strength in one of the lighter ones and then add the granny apple green. All right, I'm gonna flip over because I'm not gonna use that one right there. I didn't like that one. Oh yeah, that one's cool. Okay, so now we're not done yet. We're gonna take that wild wheat again and flick some color 
on these leaves. All right. And then we're not done yet. Take the, the lines, the leaf lines, and I'm gonna stamp it. Oops, stamp it in garden green on each of the leaves. So they're kind of funky and artistic too. Now I kind of like that one. I didn't like it, now I like it. All right, now grab your punch and, oh good, Sandra, you got it fixed, good. Now take your punch, I think I do like that one, look at it, and punch them out, punch three of them out. And the fourth one, you're gonna cut, you're gonna punch two circles with your smallest circle punch. We don't sell these anymore, but I'm sure you have them. All right, so circle punch and circle punch. Now this is gonna be for our wobble. And the reason we're using this, woo, look at, see, this is what happens when you make artsy cards. You get dirty. Um, so the reason why I did that is because if you can see, the wobble is attached to a circle that looks like the leaves. So it blends in with the leaf and you don't really see it back there, okay? Now this is the wire that you need. I have it linked today on the post from Amazon. It's 28, no, 26 gauge floral wire. And you wanna take it and you wanna wrap it around a pencil three times, all right? And then use some of your not so good scissors to cut that. And then you're gonna stick it down. You need to do this ahead of time. You're gonna to need to give this some time to dry. So stick it down and then stick this one, ah, not to your finger, but to that. So you're making like a little spring. Okay, and I'm gonna show you. We're not gonna use this one. I have one that's done already, but I'll show you if I can get it picked up. Okay, so can you guys see? And that glue will hold it. You can also use hot glue if you're impatient and you don't wanna wait. Hopefully you guys can see it. Look how dirty my hands are. <laughs> All right, so there we go. That's your wobble. That's your homemade wobble mechanism. All right, but with the magic of television, I have one done already right here. So now we'll just put this together. Oh, we need to stamp our sentiment too. This cute, cute, cute little rectangle, stitched rectangle, is from the Timeless Arrangement dies. They are new. And I am using the Hello from Warm Welcome, which is now online only. You'll find it, but you might have another stamp that says Hello. This sentiment says Little Monkey. And I just thought, Little Monkey what? Like it needs to say more. So I thought, let's put hello, little monkey. And then it would make a cute baby card. Hello, little monkey. All right. So two tone, two stamp, two colors, two stamp sets. Now I've got a piece of vellum. This is just going to kind of soften this craziness right here for our focal image. So you want to just put that in the middle and then grab your dimensionals. Didn't I have another sheet? Yeah, I do. Right here. I got a lot going on today over here. There's a lot going on. All right. And then we're going to just take these and we'll put them kind of three points. I love these leaves. Why haven't I used these more? These are awesome like that, and then take your wobble and glue it right in the middle. You know what? 
I need to do this lower. I meant to mention that. Okay, and I didn't do it. So here's my original. Here's the one I did yesterday, and I did it too high, so I couldn't put this up here. So I'm going to switch it and put it over here. You want to make sure your cards are a little bit lower on your vellum. All right, and we'll put a little dot of glue right there. Get our cutie. And we'll put him right there. Look at him. He is so cute. And then a couple of dimensionals for our sentiment. And we'll put that right on that side. Boy, all three of these cards are different. And, and right here, linen thread. Did I use linen thread on all three? No, two of the three I used linen thread. And I folded the twine, the linen thread, in half. So I have a double strand. And I'm going to tie it. Just tie it like you have one strand in your hand. But it gives you more of a full bow. And then grab your mini glue dot. And put that right up there. And then look at him. He's so cute. He's not dry yet, so I don't wanna I don't wanna be too rowdy with him until he's totally dry. And then we're just gonna put this right here on a, I mean, really you could use any of the greens, but this is granny apple green. Granny apple, granny apple. Yeah, suddenly that doesn't sound right. Granny apple. Why does that not sound right? Granny apple green, I don't know. All right, and there you go. A fun, like 10 different technique <laughs> wobble card. And it's so fun. I think it would make a cute baby card, don't you? I don't know what I used on his face. His face is different. Maybe I used crumb cake. I don't know, but he's cute. What do you guys think? I love wobble cards. If you search my blog for wobble cards, you'll see a couple other ones that we've done in the past. Okay, let's see. Do I need anything off of here? We have one more. And it's for all my 3D fans. There's a lot of banana products out there. Did I tell you guys last week? I think I told you this. I put in a grocery order. We, I order my groceries from the grocery store. And I searched banana. And something came up that was chocolate-covered banana slices. I was like, oh, sweet. It said five individual packs. I was like, okay, awesome. I ordered them, and they were frozen. They were ice cream. <laughs> so needless to say, that one didn't get used because it would melt. But I don't know, maybe you could keep it in a freezer before you gave it to somebody if you wanted to use chocolate covered banana slices. I should have thought banana slices, but I was thinking, what I was thinking is chocolate covered dried banana slices, which are dried banana slices are delish. Okay, let me get it all clean. We are ready for our last project featuring our favorite friend, Little Debbie. Little Debbie banana marshmallow pies. They're like moon pies, but they, you know, they can't use that brand name. So marshmallow pie, banana, banana flavor. Aw, thanks, Donna. Um, oh, good. I'm glad you guys like that. Yeah, Catherine, I stepped it up and up and up and up and up and up. <laughs> I couldn't. I just kept adding more things and more things. All right. So this time for our little little guy, we're going to we're going to use that the other parts of the punch too. So, you know, it's just a little clamshell box. Um let's make our box first so it can be drying while we do the other parts. The the um, measurements are right here, the second page of your PDF. And hopefully I got it right because yesterday it took me like four tries to get it right when I was recording that video. Sometimes I just screw things up so grandly in such a grand fashion that it takes me multiple tries to get it right. <laughs> and that was yesterday. Okay, let's see if I got it right. I have my cheat sheet over here. 
but let's let's look at the PDF to see if I got it right. Okay, ten and a fourth by five and three fourths. Okay, on the long side, you're gonna score it at one and a half, four and a half, five and three fourths, and nine. So far, that looks pretty. Okay, that's still, that's not right. That's got to be, okay, nine and, okay, ten and a fourth. I think it needs to be ten inches. Hold on, let me see. One and a fourth, four and a half, five and three fourths, and nine. Nope. Okay, hold on. Why is it that some projects I just have to screw up over and over again? All right, so this is how we need to figure it out. This is one and a fourth. And then this one is one, two, three and a fourth. And then this one is one and a fourth. Okay, so that and a fourth. Okay, and then one, two, three and a fourth. So this this should be nine. I It does say nine. Okay, what I did is it needs to be 10 inches. So all we need to do, <laughs> all we need to do is make it 10 inches, not 10 10 and a fourth, okay? 10 inches. The measurements are right. The paper size is not right. So make that 10 inches. Oh, good grief. One, and then one and a fourth on this side and four and a half on that side. Oh, okay, good. Measurements are right. This is the paper size can be fixed. Now, if you have the PDF, just scratch out the fourth. 10 inches by five and three fourths. I'll go fix it when we're done. Now, get your bone folder. See how, you know, I just, I work out all the problems for you guys. So then you don't have to, you don't have to work out the problems. I'll just take care of it for you. <laughs> um, okay, so this box, this piece is, a mirror image of itself. So it doesn't matter what side you start on. They're going to be all the same. Along the long side, we're going to cut the score lines. Okay, this is a clamshell box. We've made this kind of box many times. Then cut the corners off the square tab. Okay. Cut the corners off each square tab. I wonder how many pieces of cardstock it took me to make this box the right way. Got it right the first time I made it. It was just my notes were not right. Cut the corners, cut the corners. And the corners right here, like that, okay? So that's what your box looks like right now. Okay, now grab, I'm gonna use liquid glue and my clothes pins. And we'll start with four of these. You just wanna put your adhesive on the outside of the squares and fold into the sides like that. And I'm pinching them with my clothes pins to hold them. Make sure that your edges right here line up straight. All right. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the two that are left. This will be the lid that slides down over. Like that. I got a box in the mail yesterday from Stampin' Up! for our Norway trip. Next week I will show you guys what was in it. I'm try, we try not to spoil it for those that haven't gotten it, so we kind of wait a while to show it. We're supposed to. So I'll show you guys next week. There's some cute things in there. Um, usually they give us pillow gifts on the trip. And um, this time they sent our pillow gifts ahead of time, which I don't know how I feel. Well, I do know how I feel about that. It's kind of weird. But 
whatever. Change is change. So we have them ahead of time. <laughs> I'll show you next week. Okay, so our box is sitting there and it's done and it'll dry. Let's do our little uh, monkey. So this time, make sure I use the right stamp. We wanna make sure this is not the right one. Where did he go? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We've got this guy and this guy, right? Is this the right guy? Let me look. No, yes, this is the right guy. Okay, we're gonna stamp him in pecan pie on the corner of a piece of pecan pie. And then we'll punch him out. Okay, this is for all of you who don't wanna color. This is your alternative. And then I'm gonna take a piece of crumb cake and punch out this part. We actually need this little round part, this little round part, and that little face right there. Okay, now these little pieces are super tiny. So get your take your pick tool. You're also gonna want your reverse tweezers from your embossing accessory kit, and I'll show you why in just a second. And then we'll stamp our little banana, and I'm gonna do it down here in the corner, also in pecan pie. Okay. All right, now I wanted to, let's look at him. I wanted to kind of add ink so that it looked more like it went together. It wasn't just like two pieces of cardstock. So we're gonna add pecan pie ink around those pieces. Um, they're small, so you're gonna need something to hold on to your pieces with. And this one, the larger one, isn't too hard. I'm gonna use a dauber, sponge dauber again. And I'm just gonna kind of go around the edges and add ink. You can also do it like this. If I can actually pick it up. You can do it like this. Okay. Then these little guys are tricky. They are so tiny that you really can't hold them. So if you get your reverse tweezers, this, this is from the accessory kit, the embossing accessory kit, and you put it in the little pinchers and you pinch it, then you can add color to it that way. Now, if this is too tedious for you, that's fine. You can just ad adhere them without adding ink. And then we'll get this other one. I mean, it's like doing surgery. If I can pick it up. Remember that game, Operation? That's also what this reminds me of. Where you have to be very careful. But these reverse tweezers are awesome. They really do help. All right, let's look. Did I do enough? No, nope, we need to add a little bit more. My fingers <laughs> are filthy. Filthy, inky. All right, there we go. Now, the only other thing we need to do is we need to add a face. And there's this cute little face stamp right here. And I'm gonna stamp it in pumpkin pie right there. All right, now we're gonna add this all together, couple dots of glue. And we'll add on his face. I need new putty. My putty's not sticky anymore. There we go. And then this one can go right there. You can use your other end to kind of move it around, get it to where it needs to go. And then this one can go right there. All right, so now the last thing is we'll add the banana. There we go. Okay. If you don't want to color your monkey, I've just shown you how you can do it without coloring your monkey. Now, I'd like to introduce you to Lemon Lolly. 
Lemon Lolly is one of our new colors. And I think I left the ink pad over here. Let me grab it. And we're gonna take the banana and we're just gonna stamp it in Lemon Lolly ink all over this piece. Keep turning it so the bananas are all different. Have them coming off the edge like that. And new ink pads are sometimes hard to close. Then we're gonna mat this onto Daffodil Delight cardstock. And I've got a strip of basic white and we're gonna use our last sentiment that says, I'm bananas about you, of course. And you wanna flag the end of this. So if you have your punch, use your punch. If not, take your scissors and just cut a little slit there in the middle. And then from each corner to that little piece that you cut, that one wasn't very straight. Let's try this again. There we go. Little slit. And then you can just cut up to the middle like that. Okay, so we're gonna adhere this across the middle of this yellow piece. Like that. We're gonna bring back our uh, punch that is over here, across the room. Our tropical leaf punch, we're gonna punch two, actually we're gonna do two granny apple leaves and one lemon lime twist and we'll just tuck these guys in we'll put one here and we'll put one down in there a little bit come on let's pull it up get down in there go go where i tell you and then this one we will put up in there, and then we'll get our cute little guy and put him right there. All right, last but not least, Lisa, your son has been studying Norwegian on Duolingo for no reason other than to read it was easiest language to learn. Huh, you know, my daughter's been doing French on that, and I need to tell her she needs to look up Norwegian. Interesting. It's the easiest to learn, huh? How's he doing? Has he learned? Has he learned some things? All right, put your little, your, what are they calling it? Marshmallow pie inside the box and fold up your box. Why is my box not folding, you guys? What's happening? Are the measurements wrong? Look. <laughs> Something was right. Something still isn't right. All right. You know, I don't know what I did. Something isn't right. Okay, so after the video, I'm going to take my tail, put it between my legs, and go figure it out, guys. Because I don't know. Let's just look at this one. It's way better. Your box should look like this. I don't know what this hot garbage is right here, but it's not right. All that work all that work and it's not right okay well stay tuned give me 10 minutes and i'll fix the stinking pdf i don't know i don't know some days you just can't win all right let's just pretend let's pretend oh the other thing i was going to show you too that i didn't do oh goodness where is my, uh, why are all my punches across the room take your small circle and punch a little finger hole right there. Look, we'll just leave it like that. There, now it looks good. There, now you can't tell that it, it's not closing. <laughs> oh God. All right, whatever. Throw that box in the trash. Ugh. I promise I'll get it fixed on the PDF. And then I'll go have a margarita for Cinco de Mayo. How about that? All right, let me show you guys some other projects. 
You know, I've never had a box that I couldn't fix. I've never had one that I couldn't fix on Facebook Live. But today, there's always a first. There's always a first, isn't there? Um, here's what we made. If you <laughs> trust me enough to send you a kit that might work, I'll send it to you for free. If you put in an online order by Monday at midnight. Oh, Lord. Here are the other cards that I got in a swap. This one used the daisy paper. Cute. This one, I liked how she colored it. Um, I believe instead of punching out the face and the ears like I did, she colored them in on crumb cake cardstock. And she used the branch, little lemon lolly banana. And then this, I sent this card out this week in my newsletter, but I'll post it on Monday on my blog, okay? All right, you guys. Well... You win some, you lose some. Two out of three ain't bad today. I will see you guys next week with, what am I doing next week? The lemonade set, Ref so, so refreshing. All right, I hope you'll join me and have a great weekend, you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.